Hello, Daisy, and I am Erin. I'm Max. Uh, what is our job title? We are music peer educators, and where do we work? We work at the Hive in Exmouth. Why did we apply for the post? Do you want to go first or should I? Well, I mean, just to gain some career experience, gain some money, and this job's quite convenient because it also gives us practical skills as well. Yeah. For me, I, it was quite a natural... Oh, it was quite a natural part of the process because I started off coming to the centre as a young person and then I worked my way up to being a young volunteer. So it was quite natural for me to go on. And again, I just wanted to gain some of that work experience, you know, doing things in the real world and learn a lot more about music. How has the job lived up to our expectation and how has COVID impacted on what they are doing? Well, I think it's obviously been quite difficult because we haven't exactly been able to see a lot of young people face to face and that has impacted it quite a bit. But I think we have been able to achieve quite a lot through doing digital youth work. And I'd say it's lived up to my expectation. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I've been doing a lot of video editing and setting up video shoots and I've enjoyed that. That's, uh, that's just uh, that's a good experience for me. And uh, yeah, it's cool to get familiar with all the studio equipment that we've got here as well. Yeah, we've definitely had to adapt, but I'd say it's been, been worthwhile. What do we enjoy most about the job and what are key things we have learned so far? Um, well, I mean, yeah, because, because there haven't really been any young people um, at this place like for a while. It's mostly been kind of just, I don't know, I guess like behind the scenes kind of work. But I mean, well, I can say for me, like I've learned more about uh, setting up video shoots and stuff because we've been like making videos. So that's probably the main thing I've been learning over the past few months. I feel like this job is really re rewarding for me because I feel like even though we haven't been able to see that many young people, when we were doing sessions back in September, October, it's really rewarding to maybe see a young person struggling and then if you help them and pass on knowledge that you have from your role, it's really rewarding to see them then go on to achieve what they might have been struggling with in the first place. And I would say I've developed a lot of musical skills because I'm quite a traditional musician and like I play clarinet and things like that. So it's been really interesting for me to learn a lot more about the technical side and the behind the scenes, like Max said. What has been the biggest challenge for us? Well, kind of linking on to what I said before, I've never really explored the world of like the digital side and the behind the scenes and all the like recording and things like that. So it was quite a challenge for me to learn all of that because it was something completely new to me and something I'd never come across before. Yeah, I mean, another big challenge has been, uh, you know, some of the equipment here is just like either like really old or needs updating or something. So sometimes, uh, you know, the workflow can be disrupted uh, by out of date equipment. As a young person, do we feel that our voice is heard within the organisation? And if so, how does this impact on the work the Hive does? Would you like to go? I mean, yeah, like I've you know, our voices are heard, right? We definitely make suggestions, whether that's uh, planning activities or just uh, general feedback on like how, how, how stuff can be run at the hive and stuff. So yeah, I feel we are listened to. Yeah, I do feel like it's a very nice environment and we definitely are heard. And I don't think we're viewed as less just because we're younger. And I feel like this impacts, especially our age impacts the work the hive does quite a lot because as young people ourselves, we can be more relatable and sort of have, we have experience as young people. So we know the sort of issues and obstacles that young people will face. So if we don't feel like something is like relevant or something that people our age would enjoy, we can easily speak up and be like, hold on, maybe not. <laughs> what do we hope to achieve in the coming year personally and for the young people they work with? So I'm repeating myself quite a bit, but I would like to learn a lot more about the recording using logic and things like that. And I think for the young people I work with, in particular a couple, like I just like to be able to give young people some confidence to maybe do some like gigs and concerts, hopefully in the future if COVID is looking up. But yeah, just to try and empower young people, I think, and give them the confidence to do something like that. I would definitely like to try and get some more experience in working with live sound. So yeah, hopefully a gig will happen and then I could help uh, set up equipment and uh, maybe do some mixing, that kind of thing. 
Okay, so would you recommend this job to others, Max Gates? Yeah, yeah, I would. Um, I, d I definitely would. I think especially for our age, because we're still quite young, like we're 16 and 17. And I think it is a really, really good experience to just sort of get like real life work experience. So yeah, I definitely would. And what would you like to do in the future? Well, I'd like to be a musician. Um, I'm a bit less musical than that. I just sort of have music as a hobby. Um, but it's still something I really, really enjoy. But I hopefully would like to be a doctor, if that all works out. We'll pray. We'll pray. That's all good. Anything else? No? Nah. No, just thank you for the opportunity. We love you, Daisy. That's all. Goodbye. Bye.